Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with George Rule, of course, it's the Scarander, and today we're going up against G-Force. Yeah, um, we did battle him not so long ago, I think like that is like three battles ago, <laughs> I actually got the chance to battle him. The reason I'm doing another upload with him is because we had a stream battle yesterday, and it is not a trophy sweep this time, which also means that he actually got to showcase what it's all about, because like I said in that previous video, I knew his team synergy was good, I just had a chance to sweep in, and I took it. This time, not that simple. A much tougher team, much more bulkier and fast hit hard, and, and my team is actually... I'm not gonna say a bit on the weak side, but it's definitely uh, a lot of more fun pose this time for me to use, because I wanted really to try a few guys out. So look at this team here, we got Haunter, Barbarical, Flareon, Raticate, Sotu, and Ariados. Which feels like, obviously, their Ariados is pretty much always the lead, and... Um, you have to find a way to work around that. Oriados is not bulky per se, but it can definitely take a few punches before going down. I myself is using a new detonator I worked on, which is a special set. Float Seal, Malamar, or Dessert Tool. Uh, Frederick, the Sand Slash, which is a female, deal with it. Uh, Tyrant, and the Semi Sage. And uh, yeah, we actually talked about this in my <laughs> in on Twitter. That these like elemental monkeys should be worth using and you know find a set for them to work with. So I did three sets of those and I think those sets are the best sets in the tier for me. Because there are a lot of things you can do with them, but I definitely decided to go for a home claw set with um, gunk shot and whatnot. And I say it working fairly well, it's still a bit on the fragile side, but anyway, it's really fun to use, and that is actually what is important. So anyway, I'm just gonna start with DNA going for Volt Switch because I have nothing to take down there from the get-go. So with all this mind, let's go. So I did predict right from the get-go, and it's gonna start with the Ariados, which is great. Ish. So I know at least that he's gonna set up hazards to go for toxic spikes, maybe stick web, you know. And I'll just try to find a way to deal with that. So I decided to go for Volt Switch. Going into my rapid spinner, which is a sand slash, and pretty much hoping for him to bring his Haunter, so rather my thought process was that since Sandslash is here, he has the Haunter which is immune to Levitate and a rep or Earthquake and, a, and a Rapid Spin, so I was really believing it's gonna switch out, but, so I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, hoping to get a good hit on this, and uh, sadly just in here, and um, this is not okay, it is not okay, <laughs> uh, so he's gonna get his web up, which is really, really unfortunate, and I knew that at this point, he was truly gonna believe that I was gonna get an EQ. And um, I'm just going for Stealth Frogs instead, thinking that this is probably my only honest chance to do so. So when Hunter came in, I knew I could probably take one energy ball and then retaliate with a knockoff. That would be a fair exchange. I barely, barely take this damn energy ball, and he's gonna barely live himself. And that is just the. Uh, that is really, really bad. And um, I was thinking, right, he's probably gonna go for another energy ball, so I'm just gonna bring my semi Age, which is going to resist that and hopefully be able to retaliate because I do outspeed. And um, he went for Sludge Bomb. And uh, yeah, that is the end of my semi Age. One of the worst switchings ever, I think. That is brutal. So, anyway, I'm gonna go to my Selvados, which is the Float Seal, and just go for Aqua Jet. There is really no way I can work around this properly, and I knew that coming in that I have one shot at this, and that is really to really, really dent this thing in some fashion, and um, hopefully work around it. Stick Web is definitely here to stay. My only Rapid Spinner, like I said, Sand Slash, is whittled down, and it will die by Toxic, um, so it needs to come, on, come in after switching from a dying Pokemon and then it has to be against Ariados because the rest of his Pokemon does outspeed and I even think Ariados has a fashion of actually outspeeding after the stick web so anyway, go and talk with you just basically doing the best I can to get some damage off and return of course will kill there is no way I'm taking that and um, yeah, I just have to deal with it so this burn got disactivated it's getting pretty darn evil so Sector is gonna come in which is a tyrant and I was basically hoping for him not to have anything that could be super effective against me. So he's gonna go for his reversal, which is of course now not that powerful due to his HP. Which is good, because I do pack the weakness policy. So yeah, 
This is awesome! Tyrant coming through! I was really glad to actually try this thing out. And, um, yeah! It is, it is not over. It is not over just yet, but his team is still very, very viable, considered to mine, who's gonna be slowly whittled down with the stick web itself, which is extremely annoying. I was really betting on me being able to actually be able to outspeed this barbarical, and I am not. And the Ratio Shell will annihilate Sector. But at least he came through. The Eradicate did not get the honest chances to actually sweep, which is extremely important. So I'm going to go into my Sherry, which, like I said, there is a special set dead in A, and I knew even though it is slowed down by the stick web, he is not going to outspeed me. There is no way. And I really felt that I am much better off going for damage now. There is no way that I should go for Volt Switch. You just go for a high damage as possible, which is a discharge, which has a 30% chance of actually paralyzing. And look at that. Flareon is definitely, you know, one of those Pokemon that are specially defensive, very heavily, and I still do a good chunk here. And I knew I still will be able to speed, so just gonna hit a power of water in case he would survive a discharge. So, Flareon is out of the way, and look at this, DNA is actually proving his words here, definitely holding through my Sherry, my Sherry. But Toxic though will will it down of course, and he's gonna bring the Ariados, basically, just since his Barbarical can't outspeed, he's actually much better off going to Ariados and doing the Shadow Sneak here, which is close! to take me out, or not really, but in combination with Life Orb and of course Toxic, I will be whittled down by the minute, which is extremely, extremely dangerous, and he's still got two Pokemons left. Barbarical can't deal with this DNA, but Sawtoo can. Sawtoo can do this, and um, yeah, there is no way I'm going to outspeed, and i just gonna accept the fate that this DNA, <laughs> at least the DNA did some good amount of damage here. So, I only got Sand Slash left, which is definitely, you know, it is definitely counted out. So, the real monster that is left is my Malamar Seratool. And really, here, I had no idea what to do. Uh, so, I decided to go for a superpower in case of that he would do something else and switch out. But no, he stays in here. And of course, it takes that like a champ. I'm very glad the stick wave is up for Seratool because he's actually out to, able to outspeed this assault because of that. Dazzling Gleam won't do that much damage, but in combination with Toxic or Poison, I will be whittled down, so I need to take this thing out. I knew that, and then that one superpower was something just for coverage. I was really hoping, like I said, for Barbarical, but I am forced here to take out the Sawtoo, and look at that smack! Get out of my face! <laughs> So his last Pokemon is the Barbarical, and I was on the fence here, go for a knockoff, taking off this White Hub, or so he doesn't get the Shell Smash um, boost ish, or you know, get not get his defenses up. But I decided I'm probably better off going for Super Power and build myself up, and then be able to take a super effective move from him. So I go for Super Power. It is fairly close there to actually take him out. Almost, almost takes him out. But he goes for Razor Shell, which we means one thing, guys. I won. Yeah. Because now he won't be able to outspeed me, which is the most important part. And this last superpower, of course, will take out this Barbarical. So, G-Force, like I said, I'm very, very glad that we got the battle again, and you got to showcase your team, and you came pretty darn close to taking me out. Those hazards really, really, really put me in a tough spot. And it wasn't entirely sure if my Malamar was gonna pull through, but I'm very glad it did so. So GGG for GG. So yeah, I decided to actually put up Tyrant here, because I got to use Tyrant! <laughs> it's awesome. I actually have this sturdy weakness policy set, which I'll say it did be working fairly well if people aren't expecting it. Which tend to be a lot for some reason. Why are you guys like this? <laughs> But anyway, I had a lot of fun with this set, and I was very glad, like I said, to battle G-Force, and uh, that he got to showcase what it really was all about, and I'll say he's definitely a good competitive player, so make sure to check him out, I'm gonna leave his channel down below, and um, he's doing a lot of lower tier stuff, but um, I'm fairly sure he's quite formidable in the higher tiers, so yeah, definitely check him out, guys. Um, besides that, hmm, yeah. I have like one minute to spare that I could actually talk. Um, I should just come to do like a little handout and actually 
I reach out to uh, Mega Mogwai's video there that he did about the competitive scene right now. Make sure to check that video out, and I'm gonna leave that video down below too. It was a very interesting video of him, you know, being an entertainer. I feel much the same way. Uh, I don't play that competitively. All I do here is because it's fun. I, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy making unique sets and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave, like I said, that video down below. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a similar video. I thought it was a very good, good way of talking with you guys. And you know I love to do just that. So um, yeah, I want to thank you guys, of course, for watching as always. Don't forget to leave a like here. And if you're new to the channel, sup? <laughs> no, don't forget to subscribe, of course. And remember. The sky is the limit, so have a good day, guys, and take care, right? Bye.